Hey everybody and welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead channel. Wanna know what's inside this day a battery pack? I've unpacked one for you. So yeah, take a look. This is this exact same day SG 5.1 Pro battery that I have. This one arrived from my friend. I've been saving him during a uh, couple of months before his battery pack arrived. And well, yeah, take a look. So we have here all the same cells. They are just like for 100 amp hours. Uh, all looks to be done nicely and neatly, just like the cells are, I would say, welded or how do you call this? Um, I mean, the bus bars. And I mean, it looks done very very nicely this compression compression based uh, connector uh, to work in different temperatures but the main question is why does this battery has no active balancer this is something that really impresses me I don't see it do you see it do you know where it is um, I don't know if you know let me know but for now, I'm really surprised that this kind of, uh, I would say, even premium brand does not have any active balancer inside. And I believe the same stuff applies to whatever uh, small battery packs like Dynas, uh, like uh, Pylon Tech, whatever, whatever other brand, brand or no name. Uh, it just doesn't matter. None of them will likely have the battery balancer, the active battery balancer inside. So guys, take a look at the full assembly, how do I have it stored and created now. These are five units of this day batteries um, in parallel. Um, as you may guess, as you may see that like there is the input plus and the input minus, and on top also the input plus and input minus, and all of them are paralleled. Uh, with these with these wires and well the master battery is this one because in the PCS there is the main entry from the inverter right the BMS communicate together and then from uh, out to in from out to in that's how it works that's how it works in this case but um, I mean I'm quite happy with these batteries however however the trouble is that uh, they will not fulfill my needs fully as I told you I bought separate battery pack for 62 kilowatt hours not not like not 25 like here and i'll be actually mounting additional hybrid inverter like this one they will be both working in parallel it will be sitting here and down below there will be that storage of batteries i will move this wind turbine uh grid inverter to the other place uh that's why it's out of production and like it will be sitting on the on the different wind turbine that's a different story but for you to, to, to take a look and to know, like, this is how it works, I mean, well, that's, that's kind of okay, but, you know, I think at this moment we should rather stick with the bigger battery. Because, like, you know, smaller, you can do this, you can work with them on your own. Like, you can easily drag and drop, lift, so to say, lift, put, put, it, put it up, remove it, change, replace, whatever. Uh, but with bigger batteries, it's, it's, they are way more heavy. Like if this one weighs like about 44, 45 kilograms, the big one, the huge one for 15 kilowatt hours is actually weighing already 120. Like you will not be able to actually even lift it on, if on your own. If too, you will be like really, huh, you will be tired after doing this. So, I mean, but definitely that's a good choice to go with the bigger batteries. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, you need this, definitely, definitely. And by the, uh, by the way, on, on AliExpress there are very nice uh, discounts right now, back to school uh, promotion, I think, so you can use whatever codes and you can get this uh, at this time really for cheap. Like, these events happen like several times per year, once they issue codes, but like, now is the time. So let me give you the link so you will know where to get it. Um, yeah, that's my message for today for you. Uh, that's it. Once the big battery arrives, I will of course show you what's inside, for sure. About the settings, uh, by, yes, uh, the only thing I had to change, let me get into here, so the settings, where is this? Okay, battery setting. The only thing I had to change was the battery capacity because I cannot change the charge and discharge value because literally I'm now at limits of this inverter. So it's actually the 10 kilowatt inverter. Uh, yeah, you see 10,000. That's, that's, that's its 
power anywhere like 11, 11, 11, it's a 10K rated. But uh, that's the only thing that I should change. And it's actually good for the batteries. The lower current you have to use to, use to charge and discharge them, the much better and safer mode is for them. So definitely go for this. So nothing specifically had changed here. So lithium zero zero, that's the protocol they use and it auto, auto understand that this is their batteries. And now I can also see them in the, my Daya Cloud application or in Solomon Smart, Smart uh, because of uh, this exact communication with the with the inverter itself, it actually sees them and understands what kind of serials are there. And you can check parameters inside. That's that's also the nice thing. Nice thing. Uh, for each of the battery, you can definitely check the parameters uh, in, in history, how it was working. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you like it and see you later.